Samsung India workers working in this Sri Pirambudur area of Kanchipuram. They are on strike uh, from yesterday. They want a single thing. They want to form union under the Trade Union Act 1926 that our ancestors achieved fighting the British rule. The British India allowed the workers of India to form union. 1947, we got independence. 77 years after independence. 2024, the workers of Samsung are not allowed to form a union on their own land because the Samsung has a policy called no union policy. Nobody can imagine that in a civilized world in 2024, how a company can be allowed to operate while they claim that they will not allow any workers to get unionized of their own choice. So it is directly a violation of our constitution and the Samsung workers of Tamil Nadu, they are fighting very high, very strong, very rigorously to achieve their own right to get unionized. This event was, I must say, ignited by the strike of the Samsung workers in South Korea. The South Korea Samsung Empire faced their first strike in, the, in their 55 years of their journey last 10th July when the Samsung workers of South Korea asked for meagerly 3.5% enhancement in the wage. Why they were asking? Because in that quarter, Samsung made 935% more profit than the last quarter. And this 9.5 times profit made by the Samsung India is Samsung Global is nothing but the product of the labor of the workers working there. And thus the South Korean Brothers, sisters working in the Samsung, they asked for meager 3.5% wage hike. That uh, employer, the Samsung, they said, no, we will not allow you. They went for strike and they made the Samsung employer compelled to sit with them, to discuss them, to negotiate with them. Similarly, the same thing is happening in India. Indian workers working in Samsung industry, they are getting around 15 to 20,000 or 25,000 as their salaries. Whereas their counterparts working in Samsung South Korea are getting on an average 5 to 6 lakh rupees as salaries. They were demanding some rise in the wage. They were demanding the right to form a union. They were demanding the right to collective bargaining. And Samsung India Authority, they came heavy handedly upon them. Obviously, it is anti constitutional. Obviously, it is an unfair labor practice. The workers working in Samsung, they are working at a stretch for four, five hours, standing on a same place. They are not allowed to go to the washroom. They are not allowed to move, a, move an inch. They are not allowed to take a breath. They are producing a refrigerator in every 11 seconds. In a row for hours after hours, days after days, years after years. What they are asking for? They are asking for the right to form a union. They are working there in this inhuman working condition. Many young boys below the age of 30, below the age of 40, they are now having asthma, they are now having backache problem, hearing aid problem and their future is still very dark working in Samsung. They want to form their union. Management came heavy handedly, management said that we will not allow you to form your union, we will not allow you to go to the CITU, 
who will not allow you to enter into the factory premises with red flag and the workers they strike back they said that if we stop working your profiteering machine will be stopped if we stop working you will not mint out money from india this is the role of indian workers we are making the global corporates profit year after year and our governments should take care of us at least minimum labor laws should be imposed upon these global corporates who are investing in global south in order to make huge money squeezing the labor of our own workers investment doesn't mean that they want to bring back the colonial rule the independent india should give the right of unionization to its own workers the independent india india should protect the right of its own workers the independent india should stand with the own with their own workers so we the indian trade union we the indian workers we the organizers of the indian labor movement we cite you we call upon all workers of our country to stand in solidarity with the samsung workers this struggle is very important with for us we will be victorious and we will make the global corporates understand that the united labor of india can stand with their own strength in front of any attacks laid by the international finance capital and the global corporates we believe the governments in state and at center will not protect samsung by sacrificing their own people with this belief we appeal to the people of tamil nadu we appeal to the people of india to stand in solidarity with the striking samsung workers every victory will advance us towards a greater greater victory with that i hope that indian working class will learn will advance from this strike of samsung workers